Hey guys, what is up? My name is Addison396. Welcome to this video and welcome to my channel. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and a comment Thank below. You. And, uh, well, let's get straight to it. Hey guys, Geiger's here. And hey guys, what is up? My name is Addison396. And welcome to our third episode of Manic Monday with our special guest, True Tactics 2. Hey guys and gals, this is Tyler, aka True Tactics 2, here for Manic Mondays. <laughs> nice. Nice, welcome, like welcome. That. So yeah, today we're playing a bit of Team Deathmatch on Sen Crossing. Um, Tyler doesn't have the, uh, well, he does have them on PS3, all the close quarters maps and stuff like that, but he doesn't have them here, so um, this is not his native console, is it, the, the Xbox? Um, but <laughs> today we're playing a bit of Team Deathmatch on Sen Crossing. Uh, we really hope that you enjoy the gameplay and, uh, and what we have to say. So today, um, I'll basically get straight into the questions. And I was wondering, Tyler, how do you decide, or why did you decide, sorry, why did you decide to make videos based upon the special forces units from all around the world? Well, I've always been interested in military history. Ever since I was a kid, I started with the American Civil War and then worked up to World War One, World War Two, And I realized all these new games are coming out, Modern Warfare, Call of Duty, and they're showing special forces units like the FAS, um, the U.S. Army Rangers, Marines, and everybody loves playing as them, and they know of them, but yeah. they don't know them. They yeah. don't know the history, or their weapons, or anything that's actually knowledgeable about the units themselves, and I figured that right. people would want to know about these units, especially if they're interested, because it provides a richer experience knowing about the units that you're playing in. And right. I figured people would enjoy maybe having a, a, a place they can go to and learn about these units. Yeah, yeah. I mean, definitely, like, I, I also want to point out just here how much detail you must go, like, when researching um, your videos. They're so high, highly made, like, um, professionally researched and, and thought out, and you can tell it, it really does show in your work. Yeah. Especially when you get into the weapons, they kind of, like, every weapon that they, these guys use, and you must have to do a lot of research for all that. Yeah, um... If part of um, my history is um, it actually helps a lot when I'm doing the research for this because, yeah, I go to Wikipedia to do the original, just the background research, and then, right. but then I gotta go find better sources that back it up, sort of like, um, I usually use a website called specialoperations.com or .net. They right. have very good sources, so I use, I like to um, make sure I get as accurate information as possible. So yep. the research will take maybe, I don't know, usually it takes me a good five, six hours to get just the research together. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> that same fucking guy with the... Okay, well, I like I personally really like your uh, your videos on the vehicles of Battlefield 3. So, uh, what made you decide to do that? Well, I noticed that um, ah. nobody really, everybody has weapons. For, for they talk about the weapons in Battlefield, but they never go into the vehicles. I didn't want to do a vehicle breakdown per se. I wanted to get right. like the the history of how these weapons or how these vehicles came to be, like they have one Abrams. If we didn't just some day just have that rolling oh, around on. the battlefield. Yeah. There is a lot of history to these powerful pieces of equipment. I thought people right. would enjoy learning about it. Yeah. yeah. Well, your last one, I, I really liked on the, the T90. Yeah. But it, it's like you didn't just cover the T90, you, you covered all the way, like, why they're using the T90 now. And it was like, I yeah. was really interesting. So. <clears throat> yeah, I really liked them. Like, I, I thought it would be interesting not just to show how, what, the T90 itself, but why 
Yeah, yeah. And the T-60, those two tanks were um, big, or the T-80, I mean, were big factors yeah, okay. into how the T-90 came into this. So, that. Um, so... No, no, no. Oh, sorry, were you about to say something? Just dying on the floor. <laughs> 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 oh, behind you, oh, where we were before, Tyler. Um, so, as you, uh, as you hunt that guy down, um, do you mind me asking you, what drew you to Battlefield? Like, the series, you know, the oh, Battlefield series? On. Why what, Battlefield? Like, the Battlefield series? Yeah, so... Um, well... I knew about Battlefield when I was younger. I I grew up playing Call of Duty, the original ones with the with World War Two, Call of Duty, and Medal yep. of Honor. But I knew about Battlefield. I played a cut like a little bit in 1942, but I was never really right. big into them. What really got me into the Battlefield series was my friend. I stayed at my friend's house for like a day or two, and I started playing BFBC One, Battlefield Bad Company One. Yeah. And uh -huh. I, I just fell in love with the game, and we ch I traded him my Saints Row Two <laughs> for his Battlefield Bad Company One. Oh, and yeah, okay. I absolutely love that game. I think I I traded it in '09. I think that's when I started playing Battlefield Bad Company One, and I, oh, I absolutely got loved it. And from then on, I've always been in the battle this year. Nice. So that was your first Battlefield game then, Bad Company 1? Yeah, that was the first one I really took the time to play. Like, I, I played a couple games on 1942 and Battlefield 2, but I never really took the time to really get into yeah. playing them hardcore or even... For a little bit, you know. Man, man, oh man, oh man. BFBC One was the first time I really discovered how awesome a shooter is when you have not just vehicles and weapons. It's that nice <laughs> mixture of vehicle combat. Where are we yeah. going? Right. I don't know. I was following you. <laughs> <laughs> so can I ask okay, you? So um. Oh, oh go sorry, ahead. just a very quick question. Um, just like a, a short one, basically. If you could, um, you know, play any of the any of the games that came out before, um, which one would you play at like release time? You know, basically when it had act, act, active servers and multiplayer and stuff like that. Active servers. Yeah, active servers. Servers, as in. Oh man, oh man. That's tough. I. It's, it would probably be between Battlefield Two. Yeah. And Battlefield 1942. Right. Just because 1942, that was what really drew me into military history, was World War II. I just wow. absolutely love learning about the battles and the units and everything of World War II. Yeah. So, I think I'd enjoy 1942, maybe a little bit more than Battlefield 2. Yeah. Get your meds. Whoa, where'd you come from? <laughs> <laughs> Out the side door. So, <clears throat> I noticed that you, uh, you're you the founder of the PS3 Battlefield Podcast Platoon on the PlayStation 3, obviously. Um, so how did you get involved with that? Well, I discovered Battlefield Podcast, I think, back in September. Maybe around when um, the Armored Kills... Um, DLC came out. I was um, watching Twitch. I right. was on Twitch, and I saw. Well, actually, I was on Twitter, and I got a um, blurb. Somebody retweeted one of their tweets saying they were going to be on um, on Twitch, showing off right. the DLC on PC. So right. I just had to come watch, and I enjoyed it. So, and then I went and saw one of their podcasts. And they brought up the, um, somebody asked about do they have any platoons, or any platoons for, like, they said Xbox, and then I contacted Ola, um, Shock One, and asked him if I could, um, put together a PlayStation platoon yeah, for right. the BF podcast, because I felt like it'd be nice if all con platforms had a chance to, um, get into this. 
Right. Uh, so you... BFP. Yeah. Yeah. Great right. community. And from there, it sort of took off. So how many members do you have in your platoon? Last I checked, we were at 69. It keeps fluctuating wow. between 70 and 69. Sometimes it goes down to 68, but usually we stabilize around over 60 members. Nice. Yeah, because I think in ours, or in uh, Addison's, um, what, we got 33 now? Yeah, I think. Let's so, 33. I don't know, what, was that, is that the peak, or...? Um, yeah, probably. Is that the most it's been? Probably, yeah. Okay. Okay. Very nice. No. Four percent health, god damn it. So it is there another there's no more questions about that side questions up, right? Yeah, there's one more, do you, you want me to answer it? Oh yeah, sorry. Sorry, I, I don't have that one. I must have okay. lost that sure. one. Um I had them on set. This one's a little longer, so I'm gonna have to not play for a second. Um uh, did you know or hope you would someday be recording oh, yes. game footage to YouTube? <clears throat> While you were making your mini video podcasts, like your little mini documentaries, I guess you want. To, I don't know what you want to call them, but like your special forces videos. Did you know you wanted to someday, you know, record your own gameplay and put it up on YouTube? Um. Yeah. Actually, when I started that, I I was starting to get interested in putting up footage, but I knew I probably wouldn't have a recorder <laughs> until Christmas. A little after Christmas, yeah, but I I wanted to get started with my channel as soon as possible, and I thought I figured doing something on special forces uh, vehicles would be the best way to do it. But right. I always knew I was going to um, put up gameplay. But I always but once the it, my um, mini podcast stuff took off. Um, I, I just, I realized I need to balance it. I can't just have gameplay or that. I, I'm going to probably put a little bit of both so I have a schedule up of yeah. how I do it. Nice. Yeah. Well, I really liked how you how you moved in, into adding bits of your gameplay in. Um, I think it really blends really nicely. And, uh, yeah, yeah, I think it's... it's just, it's a nice little surprise, and it doesn't detract anything from your original videos at all. Um, I just think it's um, it was really nice to see that you've got gameplay up there, finally. It's really good to see. Yep. Yeah, like your last one with the, with Grom, right? You did uh, some uh, Medal of Honor footage, I think that was? Uh, actually, that was um, Black Ops 2. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh. <laughs> I took... Okay. I, you um, recorded some MP5 gameplay from Black Ops 2. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. Alright, well that's it for our questions today. So, um, that's it for today's show. Thank you for watching. We, ha we do have another guest lined up for next week, and we're hoping we finalize it. It's supposed to be N, N the, the letter N, strut, and uh, we really look forward to making that episode. Yeah. So, so, anyway, so take care, everyone. So, yeah, and um, thank you very much for your time, guys. Um, I really do appreciate you watching this, especially, to, you know, taking your time out of your day to watch this. So, I'm sure Tyler um, does as well. So, thank you very much for your time, guys. Wanna, thank you. Yeah, I just want to thank you guys for bringing me on, and this is a great way to get the community a lot stronger. Oh, well, thank you very much. Yeah, that's, what, that's our aim for this whole thing. So, do you have any... I missed this part, but, you know, we can... Did you uh, want to say anything to your uh, followers or anything in general? Or? I just want to thank everybody who has supported me ever since my start with um, the military history stuff, and as I've training, done um, put in, posting gameplay footage, uh, I appreciate every one of you, Billy the Kid, Addison, Tigers, one of my biggest supporters was Papa2791. He still is, but he doesn't post up gameplay anymore. Yeah. I just want to thank everybody ah. who has supported me. And we'd like to thank you as well. So Yeah, definitely. Thanks again, and... 
I just wanted to say Tyler. Take care, everyone. <clears throat> Tyler is one of those people who will always like and comment and favor on a video, and he not just like and comment and favor it. He'll spend the time and watch your video. So um, yeah. you definitely got a good sub if you uh, ever manage to be lucky enough to get Tyler as one of your subs. No. Only agree. So with that, thank you very much for your time, guys. You're welcome. Take care. And cut. <laughs> Hey guys, it's me again, Addison296, so I just thought I'd let you know you can check out the other guy's point of view on their channel. Check out the links in the description below.